everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with the brand new Neo Night Babies Gnarly Cootie Pops. We have Scratchy, Itchy, and Bumpy here, and I do want to thank the company for sending these to me for free to open up with you guys. It's a perfect time for these, though, during this pandemic, because we have to help stop the epidemic before it spreads. You can see they have spots all over them. I'm a little worried about them. We have to help them for sure. So it does say this right here is Neosilin, a dose a day takes the cootie pops away. And if we just, let's just turn one of these around completely. So it does give us steps, much like the other ones we have opened in the past, other series of these. So suggested treatment. Cootie pops affects each baby differently, but Nurse Tiana's treatment cures them all. Use the Neo thermometer to check your baby's temperature orally. If it turns red, your nearly has a fever. Fill the bag less than half with cold H2O and place it on your baby's head for 15 minutes to lower their temperature. When your baby feels better, empty the water from the bag. So those little bags that they have up there, that's what they're talking about. Two, wet the neonate first aid towelette and rest it on their eyes for 10 minutes and clean, then clean their eyes thoroughly. They'll start to feel a thousand times better. Number three. Cootie pop spots are extremely itchy. Soothe their itchy by soothe, soothe their itch by massaging your baby all over using the neonate first aid towel. Four. Gradually, the spots will disappear. When they are all gone, your baby is 102% cured. Warning: If your baby does not improve, take them to Nurse Tiana to prescribe alter, al, alternative treatment. In rare cases, there are instances where babies arrive with cootie pop spots in excess of 53 units. In such case, this urgent attention of Nurse Tiana is essential. And then I don't know what's on the sides here. Okay, we have like their little personalities, I guess, or whatever. Um, itchy, symptoms, gloomy disposition, and low tenergy. Uh, not to worry, with the right care, her true personality will shine and she'll beam with endless energy. Bumpy symptoms. Glassy eyes, feeble, dazed, and confused. Don't panic. The right treatment will have her bouncing off the walls and back to her prankster self. Scratchy symptoms, conjunctivitis, lethargic, grumpy, and excessive itchiness. With ample amounts of love and care, he'll be back to his game. Give your baby a daily dose of neocillin using the cozy close-up close, close -up method. It will help expedite their recovery and have them feeling more energized by the day. And this is the recovery area. So, whoops, I just broke it. Whoopsies. You can go ahead and pull that out. So this is a nice way to use your box. And gently lay your baby here to accelerate the recovery process. And then you can store the thermometer and stuff right here. So that's really, really awesome. I'm gonna, oh, there's another side, sorry. <laughs> Cootie Pops is a suspicious looking mutant disease that attacks weaker neonate babies. This mysterious disease is found in the neonatopian atmosphere and is well documented to have infected several neonate baby species. Without realizing it, these babies traveled to Earth on an infected spaceship and came down with cootie pops. They hope to be adopted by children who will love and care for them and help cure them as soon as possible. The best treatment is a strong prescription of love, hugs, and gifts. The prescription is to be administered all day, every day, to make them feel a thousand times better. All right, so it's time for us to go ahead and get these cootie pops out of their boxes, take care of them, make them feel better. So let's go. All right, you guys, I have everybody out of the package. Can I just say how much I love his hair? Anyway, not talking about that just yet. I did pull this out of the box so it's easier for us to kind of use. Um, but here is our first baby. She is looking super sad and very upset that she has a sickness. <laughs> so she does have legs that move and arms that move. And she does have this pacifier that can come out. Much. These are basically just like the regular gnarly, gnarlies. Um, she does have this cute long curly hair with this adorable little bow in here. We're just gonna go ahead and follow instructions though. So we're gonna lay her down on there and then we're gonna take her temperature. Actually, we should probably take this out so we can take her temperature. Okay, it looks like she's sad. Yep. Very sad. So, if it's red, we are, she has a fever. So we need to fill this with cold H2O and I did bring all of this Back here, you guys can probably see the water. It is a little, a little uh, damp now, but 
That's fine. So this is filled with cold H2O, so we gotta put this on her head. It's kind of more on her face, but that's fine. <laughs> so that's gonna sit there. And then after that, well, we had to let that sit to lower their temperature. But while that's happening, we're going to wet the first aid towelette. So we're just going to use a paper towel in this case. And we're going to rest it on her eyes for 10 minutes and clean the eyes. And she'll start to feel a thousand times better. So let's go ahead and, because that's kind of on her eyes as well, this over here. Actually, should I just go ahead and, maybe I should just do this. Okay. So that's basically what we have going on. So after this, the, we have to work on the spots and they're itchy. So we soothe the itch by massaging the baby all over using the first aid towel. Um, but we'll just use this paper towel. And then we do have to keep feeding them, you know, to keep them nice and healthy. And that's what we have here. But let's see where it gets first. Get, this gets us first. Maybe they won't even need to take the medicine. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to kind of do this the same thing with the rest of these guys. So let's see what his temperature is. He's very upset as well. Actually, he has this thermometer. So is that different? He's happy. He's happy. He doesn't have a fever. So I guess he doesn't need the, the ice or the, the cold water bag. And then this one over here... Is this her? I don't know if this is... Wait, I lost whose is whose um, thermometers. <laughs> yeah, okay, no, that's hers. Okay, so this is hers. So she's... Okay, that's in between. She's upset. She's sad. So we need to get her the cold water bag as well. So let's get that, that going. So she can sit with it, like, right here. I'm going to actually... Just let her have that over here and then I'm gonna actually take some of this towel here and put this on it. I'm gonna give everybody a little eye towel everybody gets an eye towel <laughs> we're, we're, we're working we're working uh, really hard here to get rid of these pox these these spots are no fun all right so we're just gonna let everybody rest with this on and then we'll come back and maybe massage their spots away and we'll see where it gets us actually it looks like she needs her eyes cleaned right about now look she's starting to feel better you guys look at her she's starting to feel really good that's awesome i'm happy for her so we're just going to clean up her eyes a little bit more and um so we can move on to the spots with her so basically we just need to rub her Spots with our towel here and it looks like we're starting to go away all this love and care is making those spots go away which is great and it's all you know got to use this water because you know you got to wash your hands just like every pandemic um, <laughs> like the one we're currently go through going through you know you got to make sure you wash your hands with that's open water and make yourself feel okay and keep keep the germs away <laughs> So this might be a little, a lot more work than I thought to get these spots away. I don't know. Am I supposed to use soothe their itch by massaging your baby all over using the first aid towels? So I'm just going to massage these spots away, I guess. And then we'll come back and we'll probably clean off the other one's faces and stuff. Now is there spots? There's no spots in the diaper, so that's good. We just kind of got to clean all the spots around. I don't know if they're fully going to go away or how this is going to work, but looks like they're all starting to slowly go away the more we rub them away. So let me just keep doing this and we will be back. It's time to clean off these eyes. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh, he's so happy. His eyes are open. We didn't even know what color eyes he had before. So let's clean him up. Oh my gosh, look, and his spots are starting to go away. So one thing I have been, I have been rubbing at the spots on her for a, a long time. Now they are coming off, but not completely. So I'm just wondering if I need to let water sit on them or if it's just going to take some time, which it might very well just need some time. So let's take her eyeballs and see if they're better. Oh my gosh, we're wiping her tears away. That's so nice. Yay! Look how happy she is now. So let's dry her face off. 
ready to get the spots taken off. But, like I said, I have been doing this for quite a bit of time and I let a towel sit to see if it would do anything additional, but it is taking quite a bit of time to take some of the spots off, just as a, just as a heads up. So I'm thinking it just takes time and like I said on the box, you need to take care of them daily and then eventually their spots will be gone and they'll be completely healed, which is going to be super sweet. But yeah, I had a towel sitting and resting on this one's face for probably a good 15 to 20 minutes. And she didn't really show any progress other than what I had originally put on her face. However, if I take my fingernail and scratch away at it, it's sometimes some of them will come off, but some other ones just don't. So I'm just going to maybe work on these guys over time so they'll be fully healed. But overall, they're so super cute and they look so super happy now that I started giving them love and care. Just look how sweet. But anyway, you guys, my favorite out of all of them is probably going to be Scratchy because of his hair. It's so super cool. I love his hair. I love all of their hair. They're just so sweet. They have these diapers that can come off and they have these nice little bands, like hospital bands. We also get one of these packs in each of the boxes. It's pretty much the same other than the little sticker that we're going to get. Here it is. Let me see if I can shake it down. So you get the sticker of your little baby that you can put right there on her registration card. And here's her schedule. And we just got all this, like the special care guide and everything. So let's go ahead and get the special care guide out so we can see if, if it says anything about the spots. Not, not anything that we can really take away from it for the cootie pops per se. So anyway, we got the two other things in here, the two other cards, and then we have this one as well, which if I can get this open all the way, get pull out. We have the birth certificate. It's very detailed. We have the parent, name of parent, age of parent. Um, lots of certification. It's really crazy. Lots of detail. I love these. They're so cool. Out of all three of the babies we started taking care of today, my favorite is going to be Scratchy. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will see you next time.